Hello everybody, this is Brad Dyke, just reaching out to you and letting you know a couple of things that are happening. Uh, today's little story is about the fact that yes, servers can truly burn or even burn completely up. Now, the industry has done really good over the years about that and working with that, but believe it or not, it still does happen. So in this case, we have um, a B-series Asus motherboard in here, and it's a specialized one that has up to 19 interfaces for mining cards. But if you look right down there, see that burnt spot right there? Yeah, that's uh, not good. And what that burnt spot actually is, is this. So as you can see, this is a very special kind of burning. And let me explain what I mean by that. You see, as you can observe, the Molex interface cable, the copper edge edges are gone, not hanging, not sticking out like copper wire does when it's string. It is physically gone, as in uh, basically turned into gas. Let's put it that way. And yes, copper can be gasified, just like any other metal. Uh, and the prerequisite is heat. And as you can see, this is a Molex interface, just like that. And that's its sister cable, which goes to the splitter. And here we have, obviously, a fusion effect of the three sets of wires and a cable flaw. Now, so what? That's the first thing you want to say out there. So what? But, you know, when you have a $200 video card, as you can see the burn marks there, and how it is crispy, it should be nice and shiny, but it's actually black and charred. There's something important here to know. One, how did this happen without blowing a 1200 watt power supply? No fuse assembly resets, nothing happened. That still burnt up. So that's the thing you have to worry about. We call them what's called low grade, high temperature burnouts. It's basically where two things are just far enough <clears throat> to produce a sub-voltage level fire that because the fire starts, the material takes that heat level up higher, inevitably allowing the copper to be melted and separated completely from the Molex connector, as you can see the green around the ends of the cable here. So what this means to you is that this machine could have turned into a big raging ball of fire if it had the right kinds of plastics to reach and burn on. And in this case, they didn't. They actually burned on the metal and the copper of the actual um, video card. So with that being said, I thought this was a great opportunity to show people, hey, you know, things do catch on fire and they're not exactly... Big raging fires, but they can do a lot of damage. So this is Brad Dyke signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys take care.